Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this, I'm going to call it a snap and fold or fold and snap market bag. Basically just a tote bag that has a little built in feature to keep it nicely folded and you can even Marie Kondo these, have them all stacked nicely in a little basket in your car, in your house, um, and even one would fit in your purse. So if you're interested in learning how to make one of these, the measurements will be over at the blog post, which will be linked below as well as the information icon in the top right hand corner of this video. First thing you will need is of course your fabric. I'm using sort of a woven fabric. I'm not really sure what it is, but I can compare it to such as a canvas, um, but you could use cotton or whatever you would like to make your tote bag out of. I have two pieces for the front pocket flap and then two pieces for the outer and then one piece for, well two pieces technically, I cut them in half for the straps. So this piece I'm going to be calling the pocket flap. So the first thing you're going to do is put that with the right sides together. We're going to sew all the way around but leave a three inch gap on the one side. After that, I am going to be using my pinking shears to just trim off some of the seam allowance on and around the curved edge. You can just cut little notches into it if you like with your regular scissors and then snip off the corners on the other side. And then we'll flip it right sides out. So we're just going to, of course, make sure that all of our little edges are poked out and our rounded corners are nice and rounded and then we will fold in the raw edges of the hole and then we'll just give that a nice press. After that, we're gonna do a little bit of top stitching just to prepare this piece. Um, we're not gonna do the whole thing. We're actually going to be first measuring in about three and three quarters inches away from the side that the flap is on. I'm gonna be using chalk because I want this line to be visible for a while, so I wanna be able to reference this later on. And then we're just gonna do a top stitch along this edge and then all the way around the curve edge up into the chalk line. And then after that, we will start working on our main body of the bag. So you're gonna take your two pieces and put them with the wrong sides together. We're gonna to be doing French seams in this tutorial. If you would like to skip the French seams, you could of course just serge your edges, but um, I don't have a serger. <laughs> And I also, um, I like the way that the French seams look. So every um, raw edge is hidden. So we're going to do a quarter of an inch seam allowance along the three sides, leaving the top of your bag open. And then we're going to flip it with the wrong sides out. And then we will do another stitch around the three sides, but at a half inch seam allowance and then that will encase those raw edges. And this is actually a woven fabric, so it does fray a lot, so this will give it extra security to make sure that my fabric doesn't just unravel or you know loosen over time. So after you're done that, then we're going to turn the bag right sides out and we will place our flap pocket piece. So I just centered that piece and I made sure that it was three inches from the bottom of the bag. Now we're just gonna sew the pocket piece. So you're just gonna go down the one side until you hit the chalk line that you drew earlier. Go along the chalk line and then go back up the pocket and then that will be your little outer pocket. And then after that, we will work on hemming the top of the bag. So for the top of the bag, I folded it once and then I folded it again. I made sure that the top of the bag is six inches from the top of the pocket. So that's how you can gauge. Um, so it's a fairly large hem, but that's okay because it just adds you know, some stability to the top of your bag. Then I just did a seam around the top of the bag and then the bottom of the hem to secure that into place. And now I'm going to work on my straps. 
So my pieces were, I think, 22 inches in length. But like I said, all the measurements are all at the blog post. Um, I'm just going to hem the sides, the short sides, and then I will hem the sides one quarter of an inch, sorry, a quarter of an inch. <laughs> and then we'll fold it in half lengthways again. And we'll press that and then that will be our straps. And you're just gonna sew all the way around the straps just to make sure it's all secure and it'll also make it look like a strap. <laughs> So now we're going to place our straps and here is the pocket there. Um, you're going to make sure that your straps are going to line up with your pocket. So the outer edge of those straps are lining up with the edge of your pocket. So I just brought that strap down about one inch. I will secure that with a pin. I am doing the exact same thing on the other side with the other two straps. I'll do that after. Um, but first I'm just going to sew a little box about one inch by one inch and you can do a little X in the middle to give it some extra durability. So next we're going to work on the bottom of the bag. If you want you can box your corners but if not you can just leave them the way that it is. So this is the one that I already boxed and then of course this is how the bag is right now. So I'm just going to show you quickly how I did that. I just turned the bag inside out and then I created little corners. As you can see, I took the seams and I lined them up to create that little triangle. And then I just measure from side to side, three or four inches. Um, whatever number you choose, that'll be the width of your bag. So I did three inches, um, but I also did four inches on the other one. And then I just did a straight seam and I left those little triangles at the bottom of the bag. If you wanna just tack them down, you can do that. Since there's French seams, um, there are no raw edges, so it doesn't bother me if those are just sitting at the bottom of the bag. And then after that, now we're going to give it a little test run so that we can figure out or where the placement of our closure is. I'm gonna be using snaps and I have a tutorial um, all about that if you wanna check that out in the information icon. Um, but if not, you can use Velcro or whatever you have on hand. So the first thing I did was I folded the sides in and then the top with the handles down and then I fold the other, um, the bottom of the bag up until that seam of the flap. And then we will fold it again in half and then bring that flap down over top. So I'm gonna have one of my buttons on the flap and then the other one will fall onto the front of the pocket. So I'm just going to use my awl and create a hole for my first snap. I'm going to install the male end into the flap and then the female end into the front of the pocket. So after you're done installing that last piece, then you're pretty much done. I think it turned out so cute. I love this. It's such a cute gift idea. And you know, the way the world is working these days, you know, with the banding of the bags and everything, we've already done that a lot in Canada. Now you have to pay five cents for a bag. And you know, that does add up over time. So to have a few of these stashed in your car or one in your purse, um, it's such a great thing to have. And I love how it just, you know, folds up into a nice little parcel and then you have that little pocket on the outside. I just, it's brilliant. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And of course, hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.